Hello, happy um, Thursday. It is, what is it? I forget, it's the 22nd, 21st, I don't know anymore. But you know, I'm, I'm due for a video, so I'm gonna show you guys how I give Maverick a bath. Um, first, let me show you a clip of me giving him a bath inside an actual bathtub, so here's that. I use um, Dr. Bronner's because it's got pretty pure ingredients and, well, you know, hemp, baby, unscented. Obviously, he's a baby and he can't have scented stuff. This is not good for him. It lasts a long time because it's large. It's not the cheapest thing in the world, but better than dish soap, right? We're just going to suds him down. Well, water him down. Like a beautiful flower that needs to be watered. Yes, yes, you're a beautiful flower, Maverick. It's about to bloom. <laughs> now, with um, dogs that are handicapped, they can't groom themselves like normal. Because even itching and scratching themselves is a form of taking care of themselves. And, um, well, they can't even... Well, that's the saddest part, honestly, is the fact that they just can't scratch and itch. Like, can you imagine that? Anyways, it's good to give them baths probably once to twice a week, but I don't know, I would, I would probably go more with once, depending on how severe, how much they're peeing and pooping on themselves, because you don't want to overwash them and have them have really dry skin, well, but then again, there is leave-in dog conditioner that I bought, and it smells delish, I mean, it says it's safe for dogs, but I don't know, so I only use it every so often, because I don't want that to give him a bad reaction, too. So we try to stick with one shower a week. Granted, sometimes it goes a little over that, depending on my tired level, but we try to keep it up. We try. Okay, so he suds stuff on the bottom, I mean on the top, but we're going to have to suds him. This is where I got to lift him. This is where it gets fun. Okay, so, uh, stay Maverick. He's looking like he wants to jump out, but Maverick. Can you try standing for me? No, 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 no! Stop, please. Alright, so we do some workouts every time he eats of where I put him on his legs and I rub down his muscles so he doesn't lose muscle mass and he's actually been gaining more muscle mass because I can feel it, you know, throughout every day that I do this for him. Twice a day, actually. So he can stand up without me having to hold up his back end the whole time I'm scrub scrubbing him down back here. I used to have to. Ooh. Uh, because obviously, in the beginning, couple months, six months, he didn't have much... Whoa! Stop kicking, please! He didn't have much, um... Well, I guess it was just nerve damage. A lot of nerve damage that hadn't come back for him to even be able to, well, move anything back here. But we're moving some stuff back here to the point where I'm trying to rub down his legs and he keeps kicking. That'll have to do. Get that booty. No, you stay in here. Like, he hates it so much. When this, when he walked, he would jump out of the bathtub any chance he could when I gave him baths. Well, technically it was a shower, but I call it a bath because we're in a bathtub. Alright, dude. Yeah, we even get the pee pee. We get everywhere. Alright, I think we got it all. Let's see if I can keep him standing while I rinse him off. We'll see what happens here. Because it would be nice for his butt to stay out of all the bubbles that are going to start collecting at the bottom of the tub. Oh man, we're doing it, Maverick. I dread this every time. It's probably one of the hardest things of the upkeep that I have to do with him is, is, the, is the baths. Okay, so the reason why I changed it up from doing it in the bathtub because if you couldn't tell, it was awkward. It would always make my back hurt because I was bending over the whole time and trying to pick him up. It was, it was hard. Yeah, it was hard. So I found out a way to make it a whole lot easier and quicker and it uses a whole lot less water. So let me just show you this example. So I have him on a leash because he will try and run away from me when I am dousing him in water. Are you prepared? You're like a calf ready for the slaughter. <laughs> He's fine, I swear. Okay, so... um. 
I'm gonna give them a bath and you guys are going to see how that one goes. Um, and like I said, this is just to show you guys um, how it's like, you know, doing the necessities uh, of well-being for your handicapped dog if you have one or you just wanna know what it takes. So there's the option of doing it in the bathtub, which is difficult. And more often than not, there's poop that ends up in the bathtub. Um, <laughs> And this way, this way is just a lot cleaner, a lot neater, a lot quicker. And even though I know I get it, you might think he's freezing, but that's why I get so many um, pans of water ready so that we can get it done as soon as possible. So I know he can take it and it's not animal abuse, I promise you, because there's a lot of people, people, people up in the boonies that will just have dogs tied to trees and that's where they live and that's where they stay and they don't even know comfort, they don't even know warmth, so believe me, this is not um, animal abuse, just an FYI. Okay, let's get this party started. Of the uh, pans filled up with water, two soapy ones and then two large ones for the rinse off. And as I, um, I usually do, if I need more than two bowls to rinse them off, I quickly put it under the faucet. And believe me, it's nice, warm water, not too hot. Um, let's go. Maverick is clean. Job well done. <laughs> <laughs>